Hello ghouls and gals and welcome to this year's Halloween Decorate With Me. We are jumping straight in with some homemade crafts, so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. I got these teeny tiny little potion bottles from the Dollar Tree and these mini labels I printed off from the internet and I'm just filling them with some glitter that I got from the Dollar Tree and Mod Podging the labels on there and I really have no rhyme or reason I'm just trying to do this quickly because I had a lot of mini potion bottles. To fill. And please forgive me in advance, I have been having a lot of computer problems and Wi-Fi problems for the past couple of weeks. You will actually see it later on in this video, my Wi-Fi just automatically shutting down. And so that is why I don't have many close-ups of these products, but I will include close-ups um, on my TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to subscribe to those and you'll be able to see all the close-ups for all these products that we have created together. Okay, so here I was just filling up a bottle with some gold paint and 70% alcohol, um, like rubbing alcohol, and I created kind of what looks like a butter beer, and I printed out this cute label from online as well. You can use any paint, just make sure that it's metallic gold paint. Um, I had two different shades of metallic gold paint as well as kind of like a metallic color shifting orange and that is what I mixed to get that golden color. And when you swirl the bottle around, it has this beautiful magical swirly effect which is just perfection when it comes to adding a little extra magic to your crafts and your home decor. And this is another version of butterbeer that I'm making. Um, I had this cute little mug shaped glass and I really wanted to make butterbeer, like a fake butterbeer prop. And so I'm just squeezing some hair gel, actually clear hair gel. And I also mixed in a little bit of yellow food coloring. A little goes a long way. Um, my food coloring that I use is actually gel food coloring and um, I mixed in a bunch of little glitters and glittery flakes and stuff just to give it more dimension and I actually ended up using all of the hair glue um, or hair gel and just mixed it all together and it looks super magical. I also had a little label for that as well which I will show you guys in either the TikTok or Instagram. And when doing these kind of crafts, I do find that mixing this in a Ziploc bag and then you can cut the tip of it and pipe it into the container. That is like just so much easier than trying to mix everything just in this tiny little mug. You know what I mean? So um, just a tip. And these are just some extra little decorations I got from Dollar Tree. This is probably the quickest little haul that you will see. I thought I'd start off by showing you guys the before. So this is what my house looked like before all the decorations. It does look a little messy because I do have all of my decor pulled out from storage and all of my filming equipment. So it's kind of all over the place. So please forgive the messiness. But let's take this place from super drab to spooky fab. So these bins hold all of my fall decor most of it i should say there is some up there as you can see and i can't believe how much fall decor i have this is crazy let's see one two three four five six big bins <laughs> and then just a couple of accessories in there but then i have all of that and then i do have stuff upstairs but i've used most of it to decorate my little harry potter room i honestly don't know when that video is coming up but it will be up soon so just stay tuned for that subscribe so that you don't miss that video because i do have a little harry potter room it's like a little reading nook and i love it i spend every day in it i'm obsessed anyways i wish i could be one of those people who just like puts like one of those pumpkins like on the coffee table and call it a day you know but <laughs> i'm very much the opposite of a minimalist is there something more than a maximalist because that's what i am and i forgot to mention that these two bins are what I got just from this year. And like literally within a month or two, 
or maybe three. Yeah, literally. Well, <sighs> some of those I made, by the way, and then the rest I bought. If you haven't seen any of the hauls, then I will definitely link those down below in the description box. They should be out before this Halloween decor video, so make sure to check those out. I already started putting the fall pillow covers on. We've been traveling and then I haven't been in the fall mood because it is so hot, crazy hot. So it doesn't feel fall to me yet. And so uh, I think I'm going to put on a spooky movie and a fall candle, of course, to get me in the mood. And we'll take it from there. First things first is this mantle. Um, I think I am going to move these to the office possibly. Originally I thought of keeping them, maybe make them look like a succulent graveyard or something. I think that would be really cool, but I don't know yet. So I'm just going to remove everything and just start with a clean slate and see where that takes me. I decided to start off by cleaning my dining table off and putting on the Halloween tablecloth, which are actually these little ghosties, and the ghosts are actually transparent, which I thought was so cute. I got it from Home Goods, I believe, last year. Um, I will have all of the previous Halloween decorate with me's and hauls listed in the description box down below so that um, if I do forget to say where anything is, most likely it'll be in those videos. Since I have so much Halloween decor, I mean, so much to where it's almost too much, but I mean, can you have too much Halloween decor? Can you? I don't know, but, oh, did you see right there? Did you see the internet go off? Do you see what I mean? I was trying to set the mood by watching a spooky movie, but since the internet wasn't working, I had to resort to listening to some spooky music. That was Michael Jackson's Thriller that I was trying to show you, but, Anyways, as I was saying, since I have so much decor, it can be a little bit overwhelming, so I just like to place everything out, unwrap everything, and just have it kind of sprawled out either on the dining table or the floor, and I also like to just place items that I know for a fact are going to go in the living room or on the fireplace. I just keep them there and later on rearrange them as I see fit. And then I put the items where I know for sure that they're going, like for example that apothecary sign. I already knew that it was going to be on that shelf, so it was nice to have just one less piece of decor out of the way. This year I did get more creepy cloth. I actually got them from Dollar Tree. The ones that I'm using here in this clip are actually from Walmart, which I actually prefer, um, so just keep that in mind. But since I had more creepy cloth to work with, I decided to use two creepy cloths for the mantle and have them kind of drape down on either side, and I loved this. I'm definitely going to be getting more creepy cloth so I can just use it all around the house. This is such a great tip, especially if you don't want to bother with spider webs and stuff like that. Creepy cloth just completely changes the look and feel and the vibes of the item you're decorating. This happy Halloween sign is almost always on my mantle front and center, but it was just kind of getting lost with the black creepy cloth and then the sign itself was black. So I tried out this new spooky table decor um, that I got with these little ghosties popping out of pumpkins. I actually ended up changing that as well, um, but I did like the contrast of the bright white ghosts against that, but um, uh, you'll see, you'll see. I, I do add some other things to spice it up. Another thing I do every year is add some colorful tool on the back of my chairs. I just tie them in a bow and they just kind of tie in to the decor perfectly. And this is why I'm so glad we have neutral furniture because I love decorating for different holidays 
and because everything is neutral it just goes with whatever I'm decorating for so I just add little pops of color according to the season and I can totally transform something as basic as a white dining room chair into something a little bit more magical I love changing out my apothecary jar fillers for each season for spooky season I'm just filling them up with all of these glittery and velvety pumpkins I also have some black mini ornaments thrown in there as well and yet again you will have to forgive me I'm sorry about this camera angle I wanted the camera to be angled a little bit higher so you could see the top of my headless horseman but my camera stand broke and so whenever I would try to angle it correctly the camera would fall down all sorts of things went wrong when trying to film this and as you will notice I decorate all over the place I can never just do just the coffee table and then just the dining room it's literally just everywhere I'm just running around like a crazy person so uh, I will be jumping around a lot. Here is where I decided to change up the mantle yet again. I totally forgot about this cauldron and typically I have the cauldron on the table where I put the headless horseman at, but this time I was like, let me try something different. And I didn't want to move the Headless Horseman or anything like that, so I decided to put it on the mantle, and I couldn't decide between the cauldron or the little spooky ghost tabletop decor, so when in doubt, just do both. For my dining room light, I wanted to change out the bulbs and maybe do colored bulbs or something, but I did not want to spend more money than I already did this season so I had this extra creepy cloth and I thought this was perfect I just draped it across and added some little witch hats on fishing wire so they look like they're floating I actually made the witch hats last year out of construction paper and paint now it's time for the Halloween tiered trays. I usually do just two tiered trays. The gold tiered tray is the only one that fits in my coffee bar, so that always goes there. And I did a Snow White and Evil Queen theme last year, and so I thought I would just stick with that. And then the main one, the silver one, I put all of my favorite Halloween mugs and stuff um, right in the center and use that as the centerpiece for my dining table. Other than that, there's really no rhyme or reason why I put things in certain spots. I just put things as I see fit and that look cute. I'm not like a professional tiered trayer, you know, I've seen some amazing tiered trays and I wish I was that skilled. I just place things as I go and rearrange as I go. One thing I will say is adding some picks or some straws coming out of the mugs. I think it just adds a little bit of whimsy when there's like stuff coming out of your uh, tiered tray. And another thing I really love is the little black cat, which I actually broke this year. Very upset about that. But um, the black cat kind of looks like he's trying to climb up on the tiered tray. So uh, I actually got it from Bath and Body Works last year or the year before. I wish they brought it back this year, but unfortunately they did not. But I only have one and he broke, but I was able to fix him. Now it is time for the mug display. I originally thought I was just going to display all of my favorite Halloween mugs on here, but then I remembered that I made a lot of potion bottle props this year, so I thought why not include that in the display and kind of make it like an actual apothecary slash succulent garden mug candle display. I didn't even plan on making the center of those three shelves oil slick, it just happened to work out. And that candle on the top, the little pumpkin oil slick candle is from this year from I think Home Goods and it just matched the mugs perfectly and I had nowhere else to display it so it just all worked out. And I also ended up adding some of my new crystals from this year as a finishing touch. I don't have a clip of it here, but you will see it in the final reveal. This is actually supposed to be a Thanksgiving decor piece, but I thought I would just go ahead and include this because this does have pumpkins, and so this is basically just my pumpkin basket. Just a little basket of fall goodness. I will probably rearrange it and go more in depth when I do my Thanksgiving decorate with me, so stay tuned for that video around November timeframe. And it is not officially decorating until I ask my husband to reach the higher up places because I am too lazy to get a ladder. So he's hanging up some creepy cloth for me. I don't know what happened to the rest of the footage, but again, this is just something that you'll have to see in the final reveal. 
I wanted to do an entire house tour and show you guys at the end of this video, but the video was way over an hour long, and so I thought I would do kind of like a part two and give you a full house tour. Um, and we'll talk through all the decor and then show you a final reveal during the day and at nighttime with all the lights and everything on. So that video will be coming up next. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that video. But I did decide to include the bedroom reveal. I just did a little bit of decor in the bedroom. These little plushies I got from Walmart, I believe last year, and the Hey Boo pillow is from Home Goods. And the matching ghosty blanket on top is also from Home Goods. I think I got all of that last year, actually. All of these videos are available on my Halloween playlist, so make sure to check that out. This bedroom is a lot similar to how I decorated last year, so you can check that video out as well. That'll be on that playlist I mentioned. And that big gray blanket is actually supposed to be like our comforter. We just find it much more comfortable than a big bulky comforter. And then on the bed itself, I have black and green pillows. I added the green so that it would match with the green in the pink blanket. So I guess you could say the theme for the bedroom is very cutesy and ghosty. <laughs> This is actually my side of the bed, and I just kept it very simple. This is a body spray and lotion from Bath & Body Works. The scent is called Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It's not my favorite, but I just love switching out the scents for each season. So for Christmas, I usually have either Vanilla Bean Noel, or I think I had like another one, can't remember. But yeah, every time, every season change, I change out the scents. And the same thing goes for my candles, but this one is actually like an aromatherapy candle, which is what my husband prefers. So that one, um, I just went ahead and had that in the bedroom. But typically, um, especially when it gets closer to Halloween time, I do switch it out for a pumpkin scented candle. Next up is this little basket I have here. My sister actually made this for me and it holds all of my current books that I'm reading. These are all of my spooky books, which I recently hauled. And then this one actually I'm borrowing from my sister. Um, if you're interested, there is the information. I have had it for, I don't even know how many months now and I'm only halfway through. That is totally on me, but the book itself is pretty good. And this is my husband's side of the bed. Um, I just kept my water cup there. I typically switch out my Starbucks water cup per season as well. So of course, I have the orange water cup. But um, he usually keeps his water there as well. And then he also has a little stack of books. Um, he is definitely not a reader, so I have no idea why he keeps so many books beside his bed. I think he's hoping that they absorb into his brain while he sleeps. I'm not sure, but um, those are the books that he is currently trying to read. I think he's so far like one page into each of them. So uh, yeah, I think Harry Potter, he made it to 10 pages, which is unbelievable. But those are his uh, little spooky books. Alrighty, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will have the full Halloween house tour. See you soon!